Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue our Let's Try uh, Slay the Spire. We are on floor number two as the Ironclad and uh, we have full health. So some of our strength is missing. We, we don't have bonus three strength anymore, at least for the moment. And uh, yeah, that's okay, though. We'll get it back at some point. I'm sure I'll, I'm probably going to take plenty of damage. So, we can do uh, good instincts. Might as well do that. Um, we also have four energy per turn now. We gotta remember that because of the cursed key. So, do we want to use dual wield on these up unupgraded cards? I mean, I could, I could create copies of Bash. You can't... We're not gonna get more out of having extra vulnerable, though. So, I don't think we use dual wield. I think we just go... For the bash, uh, the defend, and then the strike. So this guy has an interesting mechanic called Plated Armor. Gains 13 block at the end of its turn. Losing HP from an attack reduces Plated Armor by 1. So if you can penetrate the armor, then he starts to lose some of his ongoing Plated Armor status. Uh, we can get our Madness on the Perfected Strike. Thing here, if if possible, I think that'd be good. Let's do uh, strike, strike, cleave, madness, perfected strike. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! See, this is where I've got to adjust to my deck. I forgot I had unceasing top, and I had one energy to go as well. And we got a new card. I didn't see what it was. <laughs> Can we kill you? Is the question. Um, looks like probably not. Let's go ahead and inflame, and uh, might as well limit break. Defends. Uh, let's let's try to avoid going too low on health. I've got two question mark encounters coming up next, and I don't want to be at like 20 health for the for those just in case. Okay, let's do straight up attack. I think I think he's dead. 15 to all enemies, 14 twin strike twice. Oh yeah, way overkill. So sever soul exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and deal 16 damage. So this is good for getting rid of curses and other debuffs. Clothes line or headbutt. Headbutt. Oh, that's so good. And it's presenting us. Notice how some of these cards are not upgraded, but this one is actually an upgraded card already. So headbutt. Deal 12 damage. Uh, place a card from your discard pile on the top of your draw pile. So the great combo here is you do something like dual wield so that you know that it's in your discard. Then you play headbutt. And then you can force the dual wield back on top, or you could force the uh, limit break back on top. I mean, it's just, it's going to be so powerful. We're going to start stacking strength like crazy now. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open, riddled with cryptic writings. As you try to interpret the elaborate script, it begins to shift and morph into writing you are familiar with. Let's read it. Ah, the book now seems to be an, about an ancient named Niao. This piques your interest, but you have a general feeling of malaise. Let's continue reading and lose health. It's fine, we heal. Uh, the Ancient of Resurrection, Niao, was exiled to the bottom of the spire. You feel compelled to read more, but your body begins to ache. That's fine. Taking vengeance, you start to feel even more pain. <laughs> Let's take and obtain the book. For a full 10 HP. We are cursed! Upon finishing the tome, you decide to take it with you with proof of in hand. Will you retain your memories? So, we ended up with a curse. Neck. Necronomicus. Unplayable. There is no escape from this curse. So, it's just a dead card. Unfortunately, this will break the spinning top synergy that I have right now. But we also picked up Necronomicon uh, Relic. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. Okay, this is the first time I've ever had this one. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played two times. Interesting. That's a neat relic. We have a bonus shop. The sale is on uppercut. Apply weak and vulnerable for two energy. Armaments is a great card. I'd like to have one of those. Evolve. Shuffle wounds into our deck, and whenever we draw wounds, we draw one card. I'm pretty sure the upgraded version of Evolve, you draw two cards when you draw a wound. Vanesh, we've had that before. Trip. Apply two vulnerable for free. Cycles really well, assuming we don't pull the curse. And uh, like it said, we can't remove that curse, which is unfortunate. Normally you'd be able to pay 75 gold to just remove it. Sad. 
Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain five block for each. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, invest in one armaments. Been wanting to get one of those for a while. And we'll call that good. Upgraded armaments upgrades all cards in your hand. So that's pretty sick. Okay, let's um, go ahead and do our cleave strike. Hope that this hits the, the bash. Even if it hits the limit break, I'm not going to be too upset. Alright, we hit the bash. There's no reason to really do anything other than play it and see what card we get. We could have pulled another attack or a block. These guys have a skill called Thievery. Loot 15 gold whenever it attacks. You do get the gold back if you kill them, so that's fine. There's our curse card. Uh, let's do good instincts. Get some strength. I think we can outright kill that one because he's wounded. Let's twin strike him to death. Darn curse blocked my uh, unceasing top. It's a drawback. It's not a cool, not a cool card. I'm not happy about that, but, uh... Okay. Might as well play Armaments. Armaments is, um... It's just, it's, just, it's basically straight up better than a Defend, because it's one energy, you gain five block, and it does something else. Um... Let's go ahead and upgrade our Strike. It's only three damage, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's fine. Sadly, I can't quite kill him. He's got one health. He's going to armor up. Now he's got 12 health, and he intends to escape. He's trying to steal my money. Bonus headbutts. We don't need them, but, you know, they're cool. They don't persist after the combat, unfortunately. There's our gold back. Picked up a dexterity potion. Dexterity works similar to strength. It just applies to block instead of damage. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. It's a power. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain four block. The damage equal to your current block. I'm not going to be exhausting very many cards. I have my... I have my Madness card. Where is it? Yeah, my Madness card exhausts. Inflame... Or uh, Limit Break used to exhaust, but it doesn't. So I don't, I don't really have a lot of exhaust cards. I don't think I want any of these. They're, they're not... No, they don't synergize with what I'm trying to build right now. Malleable. On taking attack damage, it gains block. Block gain is increased as malleable is triggered. Resets to three at the start of its of, of my turn. It hit me for 21 damage right now. We are starting below half health, so we get our bonus three strength, which is cool. Um, he's going to hit me for quite a bit of damage, but uh, we're going to bash... Oh, I forgot about Necronomicon! Damn, that hits hard! <laughs> so that Bash just played twice. Or sorry, not, not Bash. What was that? That was my... Yeah, he's got six vulnerable now. So for the next six turns, he's taking a lot of damage. Uh, the, the strike. Just hit him in the face a lot. I mean... It's fine, we can go down to like no health. That's what we do. We heal. It's fine. Alright, um... Copy of an, an attack or power card. So I can only use it on demon form or strike. Well, let's madness. I think he's dead. Kind of low on health, but there's a block potion. I swear there's like some RNGesus that happens in this game. When you're like really low on health, I swear you get more healing potions. Reckless Charge. Gain vulnerable, but deal 12 damage for free. It's an upgraded card. I love it. I love it. I want it, I think. Um, on the other hand, Metallicize. At the end of your turn, gain block. We need this. This is too important, because if I play Metallicize... Um... Or rather, if I dual wield Metallicize, I can get three copies of it and then gain nine block per turn. 
which would work really well. I could have low health, but high block. Yeah, we needed the metallicize. Where, where the reckless charge is valuable is if you can... Like, if no one's attacking you and they're just doing a buff, then it's, it's free, basically, to throw out. We could rest for 24 health. Eh. Nah. Let's upgrade a card. Let's upgrade our armaments card. So, armaments is going to go from upgrade a card for the rest of combat to upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat, which makes it super valuable. Every block card, every strike card are going to be much, much better. I'm not afraid of a of a, an elite. Let's go fight the elite. I should be afraid, probably. All right, so the first... This is every turn. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. God, that's going to hit hard. Um, we started with some strength, so that's good. Uh, I will have, I will lose the ability to get bonus bashes if I madness that thing. Let's go ahead and limit break. Headbutt. Actually, I, I think I'm going to bash first. Because I want to get it played twice. Then I'm going to Madness. Now Headbutt is free. Let's Headbutt this guy. Pull back the Limit Break so we know we're going to get it next turn. I'm not going to play the Cleave. Because if I play the Cleave, we will draw another card, which is going to put that on top. And then I will lose the Limit Break for next turn. This, this does do a lot of damage, but they're not attacking me, so I want... I just want to double my strength again and again and again as often as possible. So now we can go Limit Break again. Twin Strike for 17 twice. Defend twice. Take two damage. They are definitely dead. 12 strength on turn 3 is kind of crazy. We can flex, get some free block, strike for 22. Oh, can we afford to take this hit? I mean, I'm going to lose 5 more health? Alright, it's fine. Fifteen health is plenty. We heal. hit for 12 damage now. Let's armor up a little bit. I don't think I can kill him this turn, so... So now we have 5 armor, and at the end of every turn we gain 8, taking us to 13, meaning that he's going to hit for no damage. <laughs> and now he's definitely dead. Haven't seen Perfected Strike in a while. Necronomicon with Perfected Strike. Yowza. Heavy Blade. Upgraded Heavy Blade. Strength affects Heavy Blade five times. It's also a two energy card, so it's going to be ridiculously strong with Necronomicon. I don't think I've ever taken Heavy Blade before, but... I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm willing to take it. Simply because we have so much strength gain. This guy hits really, really hard. This guy's really dangerous. Um, so, first things first is we're going to use up these potions because I don't want to die. So, 12 armor. He's only going to hit for 12. I don't need to worry about defense right now. We can go ahead and bash. Let's flex first. Now the debate, do I want to get a, a double applied bash with the Necronomicon, or do I want to try to madness the bash? Um, I think I'm going to madness the bash. So if use demon form for the first time this run, Every turn, we'll just gain strength, which we can really multiply a lot with, uh, stuff. Perfected Strike times two for 37, please. Bam, bam. 
We're gonna take 18 damage, or maybe we could try to kill him, possibly. Let's, uh, armaments, defend. 17 armor. We're gonna take one damage. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. We heal. Seven armor, or seven strength, rather. He's gonna hit for 21. Can I do 60 damage? With heavy blade? Yeah, I think I, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We can hit for 73 times two. That would have been for, you know, like 140 damage. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I think I may have accidentally clicked there. Anger, upgraded anger. Deal six damage for free. Place a copy of this card into your discard pile. That's actually really good with this deck, because we have spinning top, or unceasing top. I'll take it. Whetstone, upon pickup, upgrade two random attacks. One of our strikes and perfected strike. Both just got upgraded. Cool. Artifact. We, uh, we have Cursed Key, so I opened a chest, I picked up a curse. But now I have uh, Dream Catcher. Whenever we rest at a camp, we can add a card to our deck if we want. So what was that curse? Curse of Pain. While in hand, lose one HP when other cards are played. That's not cool. That needs to go away. Let's head to the shop so we can clear that curse. Granted, the, uh, the damage specifically says you lose one... HP, so it pierces your block. That's what's dangerous about it. Okay, um... Double bash this guy. Strike for 12, which becomes 18, and kill him. Block. We take 5 damage. Kinda low, kinda, kinda dangerously low right now. I have no backup potions anymore. Um... I'm gonna flood our deck with anger right now. Okay, and we're gonna take another 5 damage. It'll probably be it. So, I took 5 plus 5, I'll heal 6. Net loss of 4. This should be him dead. I need some more health gain or like higher max HP. We already have a one we already have the one dual wield. I don't want to flood it with more. I don't think we need it. Head to the shop, get rid of the curse. Unless we see something super, super valuable that I want. Free free energy. Uh, it's another flex that we could cycle. Could be good. Draw a skill from your draw pile and place it into your hand. So, we could use this to force out a skill card. Like Limit Break. An extra usage of Limit Break might be good. But we can't afford it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Upon pickup, choose and upgrade a power. At the start of each combat, apply Vulnerable to all enemies. Well, those sound great, but I really just want to make sure I don't take extra damage from this Pain Curse. Let's remove it. Block potion is going to be a uh, must-have. And I guess I will take the flex. I'll take it just because it's free, and we still have the one curse I can't ever get rid of, but it's like one of the only cards that I can't cycle, so we do quite a bit. I'm not taking any damage, so we can ignore defense this turn. We can uh, double bash or double perfected strike. I think we definitely double double perfected strike and just kill this guy. Sorry about that. Uh, it's too bad, so sad, but you're dead. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> this guy's decided to armor up for 15. Now he's gonna hit for 12. We will good instincts. Heavy blade for 43 twice. You're dead. I mean, that's incredible. Whenever you gain block, deal 3 damage to a random enemy. Deal 8 damage every time this card gets played. Increase its damage by 4 for this combat. Nope. Nope. Don't want any of it. I think we're going to head over to this thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to. Because I'm looking at that elite right now. <laughs> 
We're gonna heal, putting us above 50%. But, um, an extra headbutt would let me cycle the, uh, the limit break more often, but I don't want an unupgraded card in my in my deck right now. So it's going to put us above 50%, but it's also going to give us a little bit of a cushion to hopefully beat this guy and then have enough health for the boss. Got our Necronomicurs. Lex. Bash this guy. Something fierce. And then I think we'll use the block potion. Alright, so we get hit for 18, plus 4 is 22, minus 12, we get 10 health. We're gonna be down to 42. Alright, and only getting hit for 4. We could kill the, the minions. These little minions uh, will abandon combat though without their leaders. So if we kill this guy, we just win. I think we might want to just metallicize. First up, let's get in flame. Uh, I think I will cleave. And then, uh... So we're gonna gain three armor. You know what? Let's, um... Let's, let's let ourselves get hit, because we'll be at exactly 40 health, which will trigger this. We'll go for another hit on the captain. The leader. These little minions can hit ridiculously hard if you ignore them, but I think we can probably kill him in one turn. Like, one more one more round. Yeah, 9 by 3. So 27 plus another 8. Uh, let's go ahead and armaments. Flex. Strike for 18. Ah, uh, looks like I might not be able to kill that guy, actually, so... Let's mitigate some damage. Somehow. Can't. He's got 30... 20... 28 health. I can only hit for 18. Okay, well, I've got 5 block plus another 3. Puts me at 8. This is 8 and 8 is... 24. I can hit for 27 and 8. We're not dead, so that's okay. I guess we just go on the boss. There goes my headbutt. Ouch. That hurt a little bit. Limit break, we can double up to 10 strength. Two copies of an attack or power card. This is a skill card, so we can't we can't create copies of limit break. First things first, limit break. Dual wield the Anger. And I think he's dead, actually, with the perfected strike. Like, way, way over dead. <laughs> so, we lost some health, but that's kind of what, ex what I expected. And we picked up Toxic Egg. Upon pickup, choose and upgrade a skill. Alright, looks like we'll just upgrade one of our flex cards. Not gonna worry about the defense. We could pick up another perfected strike that's already upgraded. Or an upgraded Thunderclap. I have one Thunderclap, right? Or do I just keep on looking at thunderclaps and then ignoring them? I think I keep looking at them and ignoring them. Second perfected strike doesn't really add much to the deck. I mean, yes, it makes all strikes... We'll have another strike card, so the, the two that are in there would do more damage, and it would trigger Necronomicon more often, but it's also just really offensive. I'm going to take the Thunderclap, because I keep on looking at it and then not taking it. And I think I might actually risk going into this boss fight at 35 health. Or is that crazy? That's crazy. Is there anything in here I would want to upgrade? The thing is that I have I have up, I have have armaments. Upgraded armaments. So I, I can upgrade anything that's not already upgraded. It's just a question of, is there something in here that's like really super, super important to always have upgraded right away? And the answer is probably not. So let's just rest. We'll break that. We could pick up another armaments, which, um... Hmm... 
it is better than a block, and I do feel like the deck is really offensive heavy, so having an extra block would be nice. I think I'll take it. Sure. Okay, we get to fight the Bronze Automaton. First things first, good instincts. Second things, second, first. We have no strength, so Heavy Blade hits pretty weak. Looks like we're doing a Perfected Strike. Times two. Probably should have used Inflame, but I was hoping to spend my energy like this. We've already hit him for like 70, nearly 70 damage, which is not bad. He's got two minions he's summoned. Taking 14 damage to the face next turn. Or this, yeah, when he hits. Flex is a no-brainer. Cleave for 11 to all. It's not going to be enough to kill these things. It's first Thunderclap. This would actually hit for 11, and then because they're vulnerable, they'd take more. It's still not going to be enough to kill them, so I think I'm going to I'm going to bank on the long-term play and go for for Demon Form. Which means I should have I should have just used cleave instead of weakness thunderclap because thunderclap uh, vulnerable doesn't last long enough to matter. Okay, these guys are stealing my cards. On death, limit break is returned to your hand. On death, madness is returned to your hand. They've stolen some of my cards. It's not very nice of them. What would we want to pull to the front? Probably pull the cleave back out. I want that limit break. To return to my hand when I kill it. So I can kill him on Q. That was kind of dumb. <laughs> I put Cleave at the top, and then I uh, unceasing topped it back into my hand by playing all my cards. Yeah. Oops. We shall flex. Uh, then we will Armaments. And then we will pull this card out right now, I think. Double our strength up to 16. I can gain 8 block, putting me at 13. We're going to take 12 damage. Let's, uh... This is the final boss, so I don't need to be at very much health. He's going to hit me. I could, I could go down to 50. That'd actually be perfect to trigger the thing. So let's just strike instead. Get an extra 3 strength for the rest of this combat, which we can use to synergize with Limit Break. I mean, if he's not dead, he's, he's gonna be dead soon. He's got, we got 15, 17 now strength. That's crazy. And they're not even attacking this turn. We could pull Madness out. Let's go ahead and dual wield mad, uh, the Metal Size. We'll play two of them. Save one so we can keep on dual wielding it if we want to keep on stacking up block per turn. But I don't think the combat's going to last much longer. Next turn we'll have 19 strength. And uh, probably murder him in the face. He is hitting for 51 though, which is pretty terrifying actually. No! I don't get to use Limit Break! And that means that I'm actually dead! No! Game! 
So, okay, there's the drawback, unfortunately, to uh, a super heavy aggro deck, is that, uh... He's, he's actually gonna hit me hard enough, and I just, I don't have it in me. I... The cards were just slightly out of order. If I doubled my strength, he'd be totally dead. Or if I'd drawn, like, a Twin Strike, or the thing that pulls damage from, uh... Strength 5x, you know? Then there it would be. But, um... So we got to the second boss on a, a pretty, you know, loose and quick, uh, just aggressive run. But um, the, the more score you get from killing enemies, the more cards and other things you unlock. If we go to the main menu, we can take a look at the things I've seen so far. Uh, card library. There are still cards down at the very bottom that I've not unlocked. Got five, six cards here, some unknown things over here. And then the relic collection. There are two unknown common relics that I still need to find, two com uncommons, one rare. Uh, I've apparently never seen these two. Some boss relics that I haven't seen, event-based relics, and then shop relics. So, there's lots still to be seen, and then of course there's also a third character class that um, they are planning to release at some point in the near future. So, anyway, uh, I'm sad that I died, but uh, that's one run. I hope you guys are enjoying it, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next run or the next video. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.